The food's been cooking for about roughly three minutes. So we've got the chips on, two sausages, that extra thick bacon, and our chicken breast, which we're just about to turn over. Oh yeah. So you just want to move the chips around a little. The uh, first video stopped as it was going on. So just moving those around a little, get it going. The potatoes have been pre-cooked. Just have a look underneath the bacon. Oh yeah, that's great. So now we'll just chuck on our steak. Get that happening. The mix will after all, so yeah, any meat you can chuck on there. Some people do pork chops as well. I've just got chicken breast, chips, pork sausages, a good piece of steak, extra thick bacon, and two lamb chops. We'll get the lamb chops on in a couple of minutes, just the sausages I always take. Just a bit of extra time to uh, cook through. Let's get those lamb chops on there. So this dish is for one person, it's not for two. You know, if you order a mixed grill, you, you want you want a good bit of meat in there, you know, as much as you can really. The limited vegetables. All meat. Mixed grill. Oh yeah. So we're just splitting the chips again. They don't have to be perfect. You know, it's up to you how you want to do it. If you're at home, just enjoy cooking it. Enjoy eating it. I don't mind with a bit of gravy or HP sauce. It's up to you. Some people like an egg with their mixed grill as well. I don't mind it. Flicking the steak there. Just take that bacon again. Lost the heat out of the pan a little bit because it's uh, it's an electric grill from the supermarket. It really loses its heat quite quickly. Get that breast to cook the flip and keep going for a minute. So I'll also show you how I'm going to play it up my one. I don't know how you guys would do it. It's up to you. As long as you're having fun in the kitchen, who cares? Yeah, I'd go for good tasting food any day of the week over well presented food. And if I get both at once, it's just a bonus really. But there's too many times you go to a restaurant, the food looks amazing on a plate, tastes like shit. So, you know, what would you prefer really? Good tasting food or beautiful food? On our website, we do have some beautiful food on there, but they taste pretty bloody awesome as well. Some of these lamb is. Got it at the butchers this morning. Probably not the best lamb I've ever seen, to be honest. But you know, you make do with what you've got, what we're doing here today. So we're coming up now, these are still a little rare. As you can see by the touch, we're pushing down. The meat's still soft. This steak's pretty much to my liking anyway. Sausages are almost there. Chips are looking alright. I'll spread those back out in a minute when I take a bit of this meat off. So I need to take the steak off. It's been on long enough for me. I just need to put that to the side. Just to rest for a few minutes while everything else keeps cooking. But it's quite important to, to let your steak rest. Let it bleed out a little. I, I recommend a third of the actual cooking time itself. It's pretty, pretty ideal. 
Unfortunately, I can't show you it's all going on. The camera stops for some reason. Got it. Okay, we'll get there in the end. You know. So these getting nice to the outside. Sausages are pretty much done. Bacon's there. So we'll move to the plating up. So let's get push this to the side and bring in the plate. And there we go. It's out of the bloody way. Let's get in the plate. Bit of zoom in action on this one. Ready to do it. Zoom out. Zoom in. There we go. So we'll get our steak on the plate. Right about here. Chippies. If you want your chips crunchy, like these, a bit crunchy here and there, but probably get them crunchier. Just leave them on for an extra few minutes. Take your breast. Lab. Bacon. Finally, we'll get our snacks, sausages. There we have it. The classic meat grill. Ta -da. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to subscribe. We've got other videos, and check out our website www funkyfoodies.com. See you next time. Bye.